Hey, my friends, how's it going? Thank you for being here. I'm happy to be here. Um, I have something for you from this book today, The Daily Stoic. I mentioned it a few videos ago, and it's got a little bit of stoicism for every day of the week, as you can see. And today's is from Marcus Aurelius, and I'm going to read it to you real quick. It's just two sentences. Um, Do away with the opinion, I am harmed, and the harm is cast away too. Do away with being harmed, and the harm disappears. So this is cool, and it and I was already going to share this with you, and then um, I realized I could tie it into an update on hearing my neighbors, because I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear that my downstairs neighbor is awake and listening to techno, and I can hear it, and I get to share in the experience of his repetitive, abrasive music. <laughs> but... There is good news here. I've shared before about how hard it has been for me to deal with neighbor noise. And the the problem was in my own mind. I realized that. Like, sure, you could argue that they are being out of line because we live in a shared space and blah, 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 blah. But the fact is that it is just the way it is. This apartment has thin walls. They're not being inappropriate. Um, I just can hear them. And that's okay. And so I've done a lot of work around working on my own mind so that I don't take this shit so personally and so that it doesn't just automatically start driving me crazy. I'm taking my power back, essentially, and you can do that, too, with anything. Um, we live in this world where we're taught that um, other people control our feelings. Like, have you ever had someone that you're fighting with and they're saying nasty things or they're doing hurtful things and you tell them how you feel and they, instead of apologizing, they give you some kind of bullshit apology that says something like, well, I'm sorry you feel that way. And we get so, I don't know about you, but I used to hear those kind of apologies and just be like, that's bullshit. You made me feel that way and you should take ownership of it and da 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 and never do it again and all this. And we're taught that way. Like a lot of therapy works that way. Um, we're taught that way as children. We're like, you hurt your brother's feelings, go apologize. And we're, you know, our parents told us when we were kids, like that really hurt my feelings and we're really taught that we can hurt other people's feelings and that our own feelings can be hurt. But what I'm realizing and practicing and hoping that I can share somehow is um, I'm, in charge of, I'm in charge of how I feel all the time. Even if someone starts screaming obscenities at me, I don't have to take that on. Yes, it can be a challenge, and yes, I have to work at this. I have to like recondition my whole mind, and that takes practice. Um, but it gets easier and it becomes more natural. And I've heard an example used of where, um, the example is if, if you're walking down the street and you have hair like mine and someone is driving down the street and they scream out, hey, fuck you and your blue hair. <laughs> I might laugh at that because it's like, I don't have blue hair anymore. I used to, but I don't anymore. And, you know, I wouldn't take that on because I know that's not true about me. And so if someone is doing something to us or we feel like something is being done to us and we're feeling harmed in some way, I'm talking emotionally in this example or in the case of like, my downstairs neighbors are doing this thing and it's really pissing me off. I'm being harmed by this behavior. Um, we get an opportunity to look at that and see where am I making myself the victim? Where am I taking this on, this thing that isn't mine and I don't have to take it on? And so to get back to the example of the neighbor playing music, like I realized it's really not that terrible. Like it's not so loud. What's loud is my freaked out thinking about it. What's loud is my mind when it starts that chatter that's like, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening again. It's so not fair. I hate where I live. I feel so trapped. You know, that sort of victim mentality. But when I can take some deep breaths and regulate myself with all these practices that I'm sharing and these things that I do, I can get some perspective and I can say, okay, this is happening and that's okay. And I get to take my power back and I get to take my control back and I get to realize like I can be calm in the situation. Um, I can even smile at it sometimes, sometimes. <laughs> it's a practice. I hope this helps. I hope you have a beautiful day and I hope you'll show up tomorrow. Bye.